Hi, I'm back, and <coughs> excuse me, I'm playing some Brogue. Brogue is a newer game on the roguelike spectrum, um, and it's actually very much a roguelike, um, because it's very simple. I mean, it's, it's very similar to the original Rogue in that it's 26, 26 levels, you get the amulet of the Endor, and you escape. Um, there are mouse controls now. I can just click on this scroll and go pick it up. Um, I can also press X, which auto-explores. and It's a very open game. You really don't need to read spoilers to play it, um, but it's very elegant at the same time. Um, so, this shows me information. Um, he could defeat me in four hits if he was lucky, but I could, I could defeat him in two, so I'm going to click on him. I think I can do it. Um, alright. But yeah, I don't like using the mouse. I was just going to kind of show you that you can use it. I'll just escape the space bar. Alright, that rat. I'm not going to try to get him. But yeah, so the first levels are very easy in general. Um but one of the things you'll notice is there's a lot of environmental detail. This is a chasm, which is basically a huge hole. Um, you can just jump in them um, and go to the next level if you really want to. It will damage you though. But basically, the first few levels are just looting things and getting used to the combat system and uh, okay, so here's a key um, which means there's a locked door somewhere on the level two. uh actually, the locked door is over there, so. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to go back to that, because usually there's a trap if the key is just right there. So, but I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. Oh, okay. It's not a trap, it's just, it just made a bridge. So that's cool. All right, I'm in a, I'm in a treasure room. Um, this is a carpeted room with uh, several items, usually five, <clears throat> and you get to choose which one you have, but you can only choose one. Uh, right there's armor. There's a sword. There's a war pike. A ring of stealth. Those are useful. And a staff of healing. Um. Huh. Okay, a staff of healing. Let's read more about a staff of healing. You cannot use this on yourself. But if you have allies, you can use it on them. I don't have any allies right now. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have a use for this. Sometimes it's hard to find an ally. If I get lucky later in the game, it might be useful, but right now, 
I don't even know. A sword. A sword might be cool. I'll take the Ring of Stealth, though. It really does help. So I'm going to equip it. Okay, good. It's not cursed. Alright, so you can see the uh, items that need to be identified in the game. So far, I only have Staff of Healing and Ring of Stealth, because that's really all I've used. Or It'll auto-identify everything in these rooms for you, but... um. <coughs> I also have potions and scrolls that I don't know what they do. Um, but I do have two black potions, so I'm going to use one. Just in a second here, right before the stairs. And uh, to use, you just apply. Use A. And uh, that'll do pretty much any action that you can think of in the game besides equipping or throwing but if you want to use a staff, a wand, a scroll, a potion um, all of those you just use A. It's very simple. There's one page of commands. Very simple game to learn. So I'm gonna apply the potion. Okay it was a paralysis, <laughs> paralysis potion which no fun. But luckily nobody came and attacked me, so now I know what it is. <clears throat> so on to the next level. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, Zelda style puzzles in this game for those little rooms. Now I can swim, but the problem is, I'll just lose all my items. Uh, but the game is so... the level uh, generation is so nice because it won't let you... it won't make you swim, it won't make you use special items just to get somewhere. Except in certain special cases, which I'll talk about when they arise. Um, but for the most part you can get anywhere. Sometimes you have to search for hidden doors, but you'll see. There will be a way back on that other side, and this is probably it. Yeah. Shallow water you can just walk in. The only, the only hazard is eels and krakens and things like that. Okay, so here's a monkey. They like to steal things, so that's kind of what the darts are for early in the game because it, these monkeys usually s can often steal things from you before you're able to kill them but oh, uh, use the X key to auto explore <coughs> and it'll automatically pick up items for you okay so there's a uh, Okay, I just found a trap room, so often there's traps in the rooms with the uh, keys. Um, this one happened to be a hole, so I'm falling to the next level, slightly damaged. Luckily the upstairs is right here, so I'm just going to go back up, explore the rest of this kind of area. Then I'm going to go back. I have a lot of unidentified potions right now. So, I should try some of those out. So if I just press the S key to search, I can kind of figure out where the actual holes are. I might have to do it a few times, though. Alright, I got the key. Okay, a couple. St ooh, a staff of poison. A sword. Two staffs of poison. Warhammer. Broadsword. 
<clears throat> both these staffs seem to be the same. Level 3. Um, you know? I'll take one. I guess the game is telling me to use the Staff of Poison, so I think it'll be useful. Um, but yeah. And I can target the uh, staircase just by pressing the uh, angle bracket right and pressing enter. It'll stop if it sees a creature, but... Alright. And three three levels in a row with uh, treasure rooms, so that's that's good for me. Puce potion. Try to remember. All right, this is a goblin conjurer. He creates uh, flying blades that are really easy to defeat, but kind of blockades you. So, this is a good time to use my Staff of Poison. Oops, I accidentally threw my Staff. Alright, but I'm very low on health. <coughs> okay, I just used one of my uh, potions that I had two of, and it's a Detect Magic Potion. And that'll basically tell me where magic is on the level and uh, what, if it's a good, bad magic or bad magic items. So I have a. I have a few things that I could be using. Uh, so I'm gonna try some of these potions. Okay, it's a potion of strength. So, hopefully the other one is healing or gain level. The other two. A oh, potion of telepathy. A uh, potion of levitation. <laughs> okay. Okay, so <clears throat> looks like uh, there's a wooden barricade here. Might it burn? It, the game asks. So somewhere on this level, there's going to be some item that creates fire. It could be the puce potion I picked up because it uh <clears throat> it could be a potion of incineration, which is a bad potion. But I don't want to figure that out quite yet. So I'm going to... I'm going to run away with my ring of stealth and kind of heal for a little bit. Just sit here and heal. You can do that by uh, capital Z. Okay, and I just blew up a bloat, which, uh, they explode with flesh-eating gas. <clears throat> but, uh, it managed to kill off that goblin conjurer. So I'm gonna sit here and heal again. Because, uh... Alright, I'm getting hungry, so... Whenever you get hungry, just eat. Eating in this game is very simple. You can't eat corpses. You just find food items, and uh, the game generates just enough for you to get by at the pace that the game finds suitable. Okay, so what we have here is a monkey held captive. You can see on the left side of the screen the status. And they're beating on him, uh, these kobolds are. So I gotta defeat these kobolds. 
And then if I press forward against the monkey, um, it asks me if I want to free him. Alright, so now I have an ally. Monkeys are the weakest allies in the game. They're pretty common early on. Um, <clears throat> so, they're pretty much useless unless you can find a wall wand of polymorphism to um, change him or whatever. But eventually, um, your allies will s learn things. They'll study corpses and figure out new abilities. Alright, so I don't want to put on this ring that I have because it's a cursed ring of some kind. Um, I have a plus one ring of stealth, so eventually you're, you will figure out what the enchantment is on your items. Now I could just swim across, but I know there is something on this on this uh, level that will create fire for me. So I'm gonna use my staff of poison on the bloat. Wonderful blow up. 